while everything is being canceled while we're stuck in quarantine, is coaches versus cancer being canceled? Now, Carly, come on. <laughs> cancer didn't cancel, did they? No. Did they quarantine? Did they shelter in place? Then we can't. What's up, Coach Brown? You need me to help you recruit for the national championship team for coaches versus cancer? I'm on it. I hear you often say we need to crush cancer. Why do you feel so passionately about crushing cancer? Well, because cancer doesn't fight. It's not a fair fight. Cancer is non-discriminatory. So all of us have been impacted. We cannot and will not and must not stop fighting. And we need an army. So I've been told you are very involved with Coaches Versus Cancer and have been for a long time. Can you tell me about your involvement with the program? Well, Carla, I think that uh, when you have the opportunity to coach uh, basketball at the Division I level, there are only 350 jobs like ours in America. And then if you add on a staff, there's three people. Uh, maybe there's 1,100 people coaching Division I basketball. And your responsibility is to represent your family, to represent your school, to recruit your future teams, but also to make a difference. So when I was approached, 25 years ago, 27 years ago, to join Coaches Versus Cancer, I took it as a responsibility. And, and it is incumbent upon us to give back and to touch the communities, not only that we are aware of, but touch communities where people can never say thank you. I completely agree with you. What is your number one recruiting tip? And one for basketball and one for crushing cancer? Great question. Uh, in basketball, it's all relationship driven. So when I'm talking to a young man or I'm talking to his family, I want them to trust Phil Martelli, not the coach. When we recruit for crushing cancer, Carly, we have to make it real personal. And you have to look everybody in their eye, your beautiful eyes, you have to look them in the eye and ask them, have you been touched? Has your family been touched? Has your church been touched? Has your school been touched? Well, then why not turn around and stretch out your hand in whatever way, shape, or form? It, it's not all big checks. It's people dedicating their time, their talent, and their treasure to the mission of ridding this world of cancer. Awesome. So now we're going to get on to like the fun question since we, um, had some of the serious questions. What have you been doing while in quarantine? What have I been doing? Uh, an awful lot of text messages, uh, a lot of phone calls. Uh, I've actually had my wife watch Curb Your Enthusiasm from the shows ranked 100 down to one, and we're down to number three. We have three left. Uh, I'll occasionally stop and uh, it's just my wife and I here outside of Philadelphia, and I'll stop and watch a minute or two of the Hallmark Channel. That's what she's been, uh, been watching. Have you tried anything new while in quarantine? I have to tell you the truth. No, I haven't tried anything new. I do try every morning. Uh, I do try every morning, and I've been 98% successful. I go downstairs and I walk on a treadmill and I read the newspaper because I love the newspaper. I love the feel of the paper in my hand. Um, so I read the newspaper. I say my daily prayers while I'm on that treadmill. And then I get on. This is new for me. I, I wouldn't have, if you had said to me Zoom on March 15th, I would have said, is that like an animated movie from Disney? I, I, just, I wouldn't have known what this was. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for letting me interview you. Well, Carly, let me tell you, uh, we have heroes and, and you're a hero. You're an inspiration. Today, I'm going to do something to crush cancer because of what you've done for me today. Thanks for letting me join you. I'm with you. I want to join your team, Carly. Will you join the championship team by making a donation on our link?